Hello, my name is Stephanie Katsifis, and I'm one of the school counselors at Iona Prep. Today, I'll be taking some time to go over some relaxation techniques that you may find useful and helpful throughout moments of stress. So whenever we're, whenever we're confronted with anxiety, our body undergoes several changes and enters a special state called flight or fight response. The body prepares to either fight or flee the perceived danger. During the fight or flight response, it's common to experience blank mind, increased heart rate, sweating, tense muscles, and more. Unfortunately, these bodily responses do little good when it comes to protecting us from the modern sources of anxiety. So I'm just gonna be going through a couple of exercises that may be helpful to you whenever you're experiencing these feelings of fight or flight response or moments of stress. So the first I'd like to go over is deep breathing. So it's natural to take a long, deep breath when relaxed. However, during the fight or flight response, breathing becomes rapid and shallow. So we're gonna to try to practice this together. You're gonna to breathe in slowly, count in your head, and make sure the inward breath lasts at least five seconds. Pay attention to the feeling of the air filling your lungs. Hold your breath for five to 10 seconds. Again, keep count. You don't want to feel uncomfortable, but it should last quite a bit longer than the ordinary breath. Breathe out very slowly for 10 seconds. Remember to count and pretend like you're breathing through a straw to slow yourself down. Try using a real straw to practice. Repeat this breathing process until you feel calm. That's one example of deep breathing. Another technique that you may use and that may be helpful is called imagery. So think about some of your favorite and least favorite places. If you think about the place hard enough, if you really try to think about what it's like, you may begin to have feelings you associate with that location. Our brain has the ability to create emotional reactions based entirely off of our thoughts. The imagery techniques uses this to its advantage. So make sure you're somewhere quiet without too much noise or distraction. You'll need a few minutes to just spend quietly in your mind. Think of a place that's calming for you. Some examples are the beach, hiking on a mountain, relaxing at home with a friend, or just hanging out with your pet. Okay. And the final technique that I'd like to go over is something called PMR, which stands for progressive muscle relaxation. So during the fight or flight response, the tension in our muscles increases. This can lead to a feeling of stiffness or even back and neck pain. So progressive muscle relaxation teaches us to become more aware of this tension so we can be better at identifying and addressing the stress. You may click on the attachment I have to follow along the techniques of the PMR and any other techniques that you may find to be helpful for you. I hope this was a wonderful resource for you. I hope you do use some of these techniques. And as always, stay safe, be healthy. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.